let's switch to Excel and get some basic understanding about the tool. Just the look and feel of the tool and the navigation part, okay? So how will you launch Excel from your machine? How will you launch Excel? On a Windows machine, you will have the search button, right? You can click there and type in Excel and open it. On a MacBook, I'll just launch it from here. Okay, I have Microsoft Excel here. The moment we open the tool, this is what we are presented with. Okay, when you open the Microsoft Excel tool, this is the screen that you are presented with. And this is called as the home page, the welcome screen. This is the start page from where we begin, okay? Now here on the start page, we can see a blank workbook and there are a lot of templates which are available, which we can explore and understand about the capabilities of the tool. So whenever you all get time, just open them and see what is it that we can do in Excel. Okay, may not be right away, a, a few days further into the training, you can do that. To start off, to begin with, you can go with a blank workbook, practice entering some data into it and then working with basic data. So this is like the home page, okay? And whatever workbooks or uh, Microsoft Excel worksheets you would have used over a period of time, right? Recent, recently used things, they appear down here. If there is something very important which you might want to quickly open, you can pin it and keep it in the pin section. Anything that has been shared with you from, by others, maybe you have downloaded it from some other place, so it will be up here, it will appear under shared with me. Okay. So recent, recently used workbooks will appear here. Now I'm going to go with a blank workbook. So I'll have to select this in order to open a blank workbook. Yeah, Chitrakant 2007 is fine, but most of the features might be missing. To whatever extent the features are available, you can go ahead and use it. Okay. All right. So this is what the spreadsheet will look like. What did we see? We saw that Excel is a spreadsheet application, isn't it? What do we mean by a spreadsheet? This, this kind of a look and feel. This is called as a spreadsheet. And it is a collection of a lot of... Let, let, just let me open the pen tool. Yeah. It's a collection of a lot of sheets. We can put a lot of sheets in here. If you look at the bottom left corner, you see this, this is sheet one. Okay, by default, we get one sheet, which is called as sheet one. All right. And if we would like to open another sheet, we just have to click on the plus sign, which will open another sheet for us. Like that, you can keep on clicking on the plus sign to open multiple sheets. Okay. And ultimately, when we decide to save all of these sheets, this is referred to as an Excel workbook. Okay, after you have created all the sheets based on your requirement, when you finally decide to save it, it is referred to as an Excel workbook. Workbook, okay. Now the font uh, size and overall thing is very, very small. So down here on the bottom right corner, you will see the option to zoom in. So if I use this slider and increase it, okay, I'm basically zooming into the sheet. All right. So Excel is a collection of multiple sheets and all of them put together is referred to as a workbook. Now on the very top, over here, we have the menu bar. If you would want to open a new Excel workbook, you might want to save the existing workbook, right? Edit option, view option. So we have, a, we have certain options there. This here is called as the toolbar. Okay, and this whole area is referred to as a ribbon. Okay, this whole area that you're looking at is referred to as a ribbon. Okay, this is the toolbar ribbon. These are the name uh, headings basically, and this is the ribbon. And depending on what you choose over here, accordingly, the options that are available inside the ribbon will change. Okay, right now home is selected. Right now home is selected. And this is the home ribbon. All right. This is divided into multiple groups. What is it called as? It is called as a ribbon. Okay. Remember the name. 
and it is divided into multiple groups. This is one group here. It is divided into multiple groups. So you can see a very subtle gray colored line, which is segregating the options on this ribbon into different groups. There is one here, there is one here, there is one here. Okay, so logically, the options on the ribbon are segregated into different groups. Fine. And uh, if you're using a Windows machine, you may even find one small arrow mark down here. And when you click on this arrow mark, which will be in this shape, the options on that ribbon will open up in the form of a window. And from that window, pop-up window also, we can make certain modifications. Okay. So uh, on the home bar, we have certain options. If we go to insert accordingly, the options on the ribbon will change. The groups will change. Draw, page layout, formulas, data, review, a lot of options are available. Let me go back to home. So this is a sheet. We have the menu bar. We have the ribbon, the toolbar ribbon. And in that ribbon, we have different groups. Under each group, there are certain options available. Then what you see as A, B, C, D, these are referred to as columns. Okay, these are referred to as columns. And what you see as one, two, three, four, these are referred to as rows. Okay, and each and every individual block here is called a cell. And every cell has an address. The address will basically have the column number, the column alphabet, okay, and the row number. So if I have to figure out or if I have to tell you what is the address of this particular cell, it is going to be D and 8 here. The intersection of the row and the column is the cell. Okay, intersection of the row and the column is the cell. And this particular cell's address will be called D8. So first, the column will come. That is D here. And then the row number, which is 8. That is how you reference a cell. And this is a very important thing to note. Okay, this is how we reference a cell. By the cell address, which is the column alphabet and the row number. 